Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we demonstrate our ability to identify a line plot with fractions. Here's our question. The numbers of hours seven students spent reading are listed in this box. Which of the following line plots shows the number of hours each student spent reading? I'm going to ask you to pause and solve and then come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. All right, so let's go through each answer choice. First, understanding that we're going to find the line plot that best represents the seven students, and here are their data, the number of hours that each spent reading. So we have seven students. So the first thing I want to do is look at my four answer choices and make sure they all have seven pieces of data. So each X on these line plots represents one student's number of hours reading. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So A could be the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all four of these line plots have seven pieces of data and all could represent this box of data. So the first thing I wanna do now is understand this number line that's below each of the line plots. They're all the same. And I notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six even intervals between one and two. So that means that each one of these tally marks represents one sixth. So this first set of data on A represents one and one sixth. So if A were correct, then two points in this box need to be one and one sixth. So let's go up and look at our data. One and five sixths, one and a half, one and one third, one and five sixths, one and one third, one and five sixths, one and two thirds, one and one sixth. This piece of data is not get in our given data. So we know that line plot A cannot be the answer. Looking at B, there are no data points on one and one sixth, so we could consider this to be correct. Choice C also has two data points on one and one sixth, so we can rule out line plot C. And then D doesn't have any data on the one and one sixth, so we're good. All right, so now we gotta go to the next thing. And what I'm going to do next is look at that this next one, if this is one and one sixth, this is one and two sixths, and one and two sixths in simplest form is one and one third. So line plot B has two pieces of data that are one and one third. So if we come up here, there's one and one third, and there's a second one and one third. So there are two data points that are one and one third. So B could be the line plot. Let's check D. One and one third would be here. One and one sixth, one and two sixths would simplifies to one and one third, but there's no data here. Therefore, line plot D cannot be the answer. Now let's check before we go and final say that the B is the line plot, let's check. So there should be one data point of one and a half, and there it is. And then I see one, two, three, one and five sixths, and here it is, one and five sixths, one, two, three, and then over here, this would be one and four sixths, which is simplifies to one and two thirds. And that is that last piece of data. So line plot B is the correct answer. I thank you for joining me today at the Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. And please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.